These are uncharted waters for the white-spotted jellyfish. It's ended up in the Mediterranean Sea after coming all the way from Australia. The arrival of new species has left scientists in Tunisia worried. Each week, they head out to sea to carry out tests. In 2012, they found this jellyfish in the Mediterranean Sea for the first time. We assume they arrived here on big merchant ships. When ships arrive at the harbor, they exchange their container vessel ballast. That means they release water into the sea from other regions of the world. That introduces fish and jellyfish species that aren't native to the Mediterranean Sea. In the northern city of Bizert, scientists at the university are researching the diets of the new jellyfish species. They've ascertained that the animals do present a danger to the ecosystem. Many jellyfish are carnivorous and many eat plankton. But sardines, anchovies, and young fish also need plankton. As a result, the jellyfish are competing with the other animals and organisms in the sea. These fishermen are also concerned. They still employ traditional fishing techniques. Rather than going out in boats, they stay on shore and cast huge nets into the ocean. Today is a good day. They've caught more regular fish than jellyfish. Scientists work together with the fishermen and their families. In the last three years, there's been an enormous influx of new species of jellyfish. And they're breeding fast. If we end up with this many jellyfish in our nets, we have to shake everything out in order for there to be any fish left over. The jellyfish burn us. They sting. You get a burning sensation in your eyes and everywhere. Close to the capital, Tunis, the scientists and fishermen are trying to catch the offending jellyfish. But today, the creatures are hiding. When it's windy, jellyfish submerge in deeper waters. That forces the fishermen further out to sea. Luckily, they're familiar with the area. Okay, okay, catch it. Hey, catch? Yeah. But with more and more jellyfish in these waters, is the answer to just get used to them? The solution is either to reduce the fish catch or to assign a value to the jellyfish. That's why we founded a laboratory where we can extract collagen from them. Jellyfish can in fact be used to produce collagen as an ingredient in commercial cosmetics. This practice is common all over the world, and demand is rising, something Tunisians are hoping to profit from. There are certainly enough of them, especially in the last few years, as the Mediterranean has become flooded with jellyfish. Why shouldn't we use them to make cosmetics, and someday maybe even medicine? But the jellyfish are causing big problems in another sector, tourism. Thousands of people vacation on Tunisia's beaches each year, and they don't want to be stung by jellyfish. The jellyfish scourge is leaving many visitors unhappy. When we just started, you know, swimming, and my son got bitten, as you see, with the jellyfish in his stomach. Yeah, and he saw like a couple of them as well. And my daughter got bitten as well. Which finger was it? This one or that? This one here. Yeah. But now it's better. Yeah. So it's really, really stressful, really, to be honest with you. We've been here about seven days, and we've seen quite a few jellyfish actually. 
Sometimes there's only a few in the mornings, there's not many. Mainly in the afternoon, basically. You'll we'll probably see, I don't know, five or six. In response, the scientists have set up a series of nets along the beach. The aim is to keep the jellyfish away from swimming areas. They ask tourists to fill out a questionnaire. Scientists take samples, which they then use to record what jellyfish species they find at each beach. Today we have the beach to ourselves. The current and the winds have ensured that there are barely any jellyfish directly on the beach. But does that make the marine biologist happy or unhappy? Well, from a scientific perspective, it's a pity, of course. It also means we have less work. But for tourists and fishermen, it's good. They wait until sundown to cast their nets, when most of the tourists have returned to their hotels. They want visitors to return here and not to bring home stories of being stung by jellyfish. Scientists cannot predict whether the jellyfish population will continue to increase. But they're already speculating about what the future could hold. We're concerned about the future. We're already beginning to see the effect of this scourge and we're wondering whether what we're doing is enough and whether the ecosystem will find a way of recovering. But that's all written in the stars. The white spotted jellyfish can grow up to 70 centimeters long, has eight arms and only lives for a few months. And it's already getting used to the colder water in this part of the world. <laughs>